Afterwards, I started training for Argentina World Cup. I really wanted to work on a few things, like uh, coming out of the start a bit faster and down the hill a bit quicker and just getting that first straight a lot better than it has been for most of the season. I went into Argentina, felt like I'd done a lot of training to improve in that area and I got to racing. It just wasn't quite where I hoped it would be, uh, but managed to get through the weekend. <laughs> managed to get caught up in a crash in the semi-final and uh, didn't make it through to the final. I kind of questioned myself a little bit on whether uh, all the training I had put to go through into that specific race uh, whether I was ever going to be fast enough anymore and so it was pretty a pretty good race to kind of reflect a little bit on the season and yeah I didn't feel overly confident on how I was tracking but uh, we still had a one more World Cup to go in Chula Vista and we had a week and a half based in Rock Hill in uh, South Carolina so I didn't want to give up I went to Rock Hill and I worked so hard on that first straight we worked on getting faster leg speed and just being real explosive out of the start and just spent a week and a half on the eight metre hill just training that real specific first straight. I came into Chula and didn't really know what to expect. I was kind of hoping something had improved, but I really wasn't sure because I had worked so hard and it didn't seem to work properly. So I was hopeful, but I wasn't quite sure on what the outcome would be. The star in the darkness, light is from home. Was it when I was breathing in a different way than the rest of the human I really wouldn't have a clue on what happened that day because I, I went through into the first race, I had lane one and just from the video footage I got an amazing gate, great first straight and was winning uh, right through the third straight where I just made a slight mistake uh, on a manual and went straight over the bars and, and into the face of the next jump. And, when I first crashed the GoPro footage, uh, you can hear me kind of talking to the, the medics on the track and... Oh, that hurt. Does this wrist hurt? Um, I think I just jarred them. You okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm so all good. So good? <laughs> I'm 100%. Walking off the track, it was kind of a good sign. I didn't kind of initially think it was as bad as what it was. I think I think you were win you were winning on the in the first moto. <laughs> and you, you came on the, on the to the third straight and then you you crashed pretty hard by the sounds of it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, I can imagine like pretty hard because I have this book on one arm and this book on the other arm and I don't remember what happened so I, my memory is still pretty bad because we've been speaking for 51 minutes and it feels like five. Yeah. <laughs> have I been repeating myself a lot? A uh, little bit. I know you've got a good bruise on your right knee. Yeah, yeah, dude. The one's good though. You got a wee scratch on your ankle there. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> you know more than me. <laughs> got surgery at my elbow and my wrist. Uh, two plates and nine screws later. Um, and another four days in the hospital in Auckland. I finally got to go home. I think to come back from this injury will be fun, I think. Like, I'm really looking forward to it. I don't remember the crash, and so I don't have any fear of what I did. But looking back at the video footage, it was just one of those little mistakes where you just, your manual came up a little bit short, and it was just, it wasn't anything major. It was just kind of a lapse of judgment. So I'm not stressed about that I can't ride a bike properly and I think the statistically I, I won't break both arms again so <laughs> I'm not worried about that too much. It would just be making sure that I choose a really good helmet and take care of my brain because it's really important uh, not only for now but in the future after BMX. So my wish is to be riding a BMX bike before Christmas which is uh, by Christmas it's three months since my crash and the surgeon wasn't overly keen that I was riding my bike, but I think I can talk him into it <laughs> uh, to let me at least roll around the track because like, it's, it's still just under six weeks since the crash and I miss it like crazy. I just want to get back out on my bike, but I know that I just can't quite do that yet. But I know in another few weeks time when I start getting better and I can start moving my wrists a little bit more and my elbows getting a little bit better and my head's getting better it's just it'll get more and more frustrating uh, that it's just being drawn out and I just can't wait to ride my bike again. I was glad to make it through the whole season without uh, having an injury but at least if I was going to get injured it was at the last race of the season I've had a, a bit of time off and I'm not missing too much, so that's good, but I think we've got to reset the counter on the crashing and injuring myself and uh, start back at zero again. So hopefully next season we'll get through and that counter will be up uh, for the episodes, making sure I get through a whole season without being hurt. So I can do it now, fingers crossed. <laughs> and I might straighten it. <laughs> straighten it. So we're all loaded up in the van, clean your room. Could have fitted one more person in there, but... Hip it. <laughs> <laughs>